Hello and welcome to my channel Nico Mag. My name is Nicole and today this video will be about Sinistil 50 Daylight. If you like these type of videos and are into travel, lifestyle, and film, please like and subscribe. I would really appreciate it. So this will be my first time shooting Sinistil 50 Daylight. I've heard about this film but I just haven't gotten a chance to shoot it. Normally I tend to shoot Fuji film or Kodak film stocks. So I'm really excited to try this. Since so it has an ISO of 50, that means that you need to shoot this with a lot in conditions with a lot of light. Being that I live in Hawaii and we get a lot of sun obviously, being a tropical island, I think this would be a really fun film to try out. As for what I expect, I expect this to have a more cinematic feel to my photos since that's what Cine still is supposed to do when you shoot their films. So hopefully I did get that slight cinematic vibe to my photos. The camera that I will be using is my Canon EOS 3. So I'm a little excited to use this film and this camera combo. So I won't post all 36 shots because that's going to take way too long to show in this video. So I will probably show you some good ones and if there's bad ones, which there could obviously be, I'll show the good ones and the bad ones and I'll let you know my thoughts and opinions on the film and you can be the judge for yourselves and tell me in the comments what you think and if you would be willing to try this film in the future. So without further ado, let's just get right to it. Just park the car and heading to China Wall. Honestly, it's really hot here. There is no shade, so I am burning, but the photos will be worth, right? I do like this photo of the guy jumping off China walls. I think the skin tones look pretty nice and the sun really came out when I took that photo. So I think that's why it looks really bright and colorful. And it does kind of have that old film look from like the 60s and 70s, which I do enjoy. Honestly, watching the waves crash against the rocks is so nice and very calming in a way. Hey guys, so I am at this lookout on Oahu off the highway and I'm going to be taking pictures of some of the waves and the water crashing against the rocks. Right now for the weather, it's pretty cloudy. Well, it's not cloudy, but there's a lot of clouds, but since it's windy, the clouds are moving pretty quickly. So I guess this will be a good test to see how well the film performs with harsh sunlight versus clouds over the sun which will make the lighting a little bit softer but also might not be as bright so I guess we'll see how it turns out on the film since the film only has an ISO of 50 so it needs a lot of light in order for it to be properly exposed so I guess we'll see. So yeah, I really like this photo of the water on the waves. I feel like if you crop just the part of the foamy water on the rocks, it would look like a mountain. So I really like this photo just because of that. <laughs>
these two photos, the one with the fisherman in the bottom left, I took when the sun was fully out, and the other one I took when the clouds were covering the sun a little bit. So as you can see, the one with the fisherman, the rocks in the back are really like overexposed slightly and kind of washed out. The rocks in real life do not look that washed out, so that is definitely the film's doing. So I think it looks okay. It kind of, I guess, does look more painting-like, I guess you could say, but it is definitely more washed out than it is in real life. And in the photo where there's no fisherman and the sun is partially covered by the clouds, that one I feel like looks more accurate to what it really looks like in real life. the Havana Bobo and I'm gonna try and take some pictures of the little beach that you can see from the viewpoint and maybe some pictures of the Bobo but not really planning on it but we'll see this photo the Cool, but I do like it. Kind of looks almost like a painting. I feel like the colors really do make it look like a fancy painting in an art museum. So I do like this, even though there's parts where it's like a little bit overexposed. But I feel like with the Sinso colors, it does kind of low key look like a painting. So I dig it. Waiting for the blowhole to blow. So new day today, I will be going to Waikiki to take some more shots with Sinisto 50 Daylight. Sweet, found some free parking. Honestly, banyan trees are so cool. Hands down. They're just amazing. In this photo, you can clearly see the halations on the bottom left corner of the photo. I was kind of surprised at how well exposed and lit the trunk of the tree was. I thought it was going to be kind of dark because I took it in the shade obviously because I was under the tree. So that did surprise me there. But yeah, still the halations on this tree, I just don't like how it's all on one side. I guess I would prefer to post on the other side too, just to even it out, but that's just me. Obviously, this is my favorite photo that I took with Sin Sofa D Daylight. I like how this really looks like a postcard from like the 60s. And it really does look like something I would see in a postcard from the 60s of Waikiki Beach. I really like this photo because there is the difference between the circular building versus the rectangular building. Uh, I think it looks kind of cool, a little retro, a little futuristic with the contrast between the two. So I don't know, I think this photo. What do you guys think? Hello again, so today I'm gonna go to a botanical garden to take some photos and if I still have some shots left, I may go downtown, so we'll see how it goes!
So in this photo of the waterfall, as you can see, the waterfall is really overexposed and you see some of the halations that Sinistil is known for. So what I've noticed so far is that if it's overexposed or even if there's like a lot of white in the what you're taking, it doesn't look as nice compared to other films when you overexpose it. At least that's what I think. Let me know in the comments what you think. But yeah, this photo, the waterfall did not look even close to like that in real life. So yeah. So in this area that I took the photo of the flower, it was really shaded, as you can see. So it isn't super bright, but I wasn't really expecting like great brightness since it only has a ISO of 50 on the film. I do think it looks nice. I do think that I should probably brighten it a little because it is a little bit dark. But I think if you brighten it a little, it might turn out okay in certain parts of the photo. And I think the greens do look nice. And since it does seem to veer towards more greens when things are under shadows or underexposed. So overall, I am okay with this photo. So in this photo, I'm not a huge fan of it, at least the top part because it got really overexposed. So I was shooting this around like 1 p.m. in the afternoon and the sun was fully out. And as you can see, the building and the upper half of the umbrellas are really overexposed and like white basically. But as you see when I recorded it on video, under the umbrella it's like completely dark so the camera I guess didn't get picked it up or whatever. So I do like the bottom half of the photo is just the top part is like really overexposed. But the bottom half looks nice. I think the colors look really good and it does have a nice film look to it. So I actually like this photo I took of the Hawaii theater sign, except I feel like it's slightly crooked and it bars me and I thought I totally took it straight but I didn't apparently. But yeah, anyways, I do I do like this photo. I do like the colors. It came out really nice and not overexposed. And it just has this real vintage look. Like it actually does look like I took this back in the day. But I didn't because it's 2021. So in this photo, I did a double exposure, however, it did not turn out what I wanted it to look like. I wanted the car to pop up a little more, instead of the building, but the building ended up popping up more. Even though if you take the water shot and you take seconds, it's supposed to stand out more, but for me it didn't work, even though I did half the exposure pre-shot so it wouldn't be overexposed in the final shot, but not a super huge fan of this one. This was the only double exposure I took though. So all in all, I like this film, but it's definitely not my favorite. I feel like you have to have ideal conditions for this film in order to get good shots. And most importantly, I feel like you really can't have anything that's harsh lighting. I shot some of these when it was like peak afternoon and I feel like the light was way too harsh on the photos and it, caught, it got caused to be overexposed. And then the halation started to pop up. So I can see how this would not be good if you're traveling because you know when you travel obviously you can't control the environment and the lighting as much and you only get so many opportunities to take that one photo of that one place. So it would not be a good travel film but I think it would be a nice film if you're going anywhere during the summer like a beach or something then I think beach photos come out really nice in the, in the photos that I did take of people at the beach. The colors look good, skin tones look nice, it did have that film look. So overall, 
I would say this film is very good but for like specific situations only let me know in the comments what you guys think and that's it for this video please like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time bye